16 personalities as types of negotiators. For this video, I'm using the three types of negotiators that Chris Voss created. First, let's define them. Accommodators. They see themselves as reasonable, conversational, and relationship-focused. They might be seen by others as friendly and too talkative. To them, in business, the relationship itself is the most important thing. They care about building them and maintaining them. Their negotiation mindset is that time equals relationship building, and silence is upsetting and might indicate anger. They are sociable, peace-seeking, and optimistic. They are diplomatic people. Watching their body language might give you more information, since they won't express hesitancy in words. A risk with them is that they might overpromise and agree to something that they can't deliver. In a phrase, people pleasers. When it comes to reciprocity, they are more likely to give something up first. Their giving isn't motivated by receiving. When they do receive, they are flattered and take it as a good sign, a confirmation of a positive relationship. If you've offended them or the negotiation is going badly, an apology is mandatory. Analysts. They see themselves as realistic, prepared, and smart. They may be seen by others as cold and standoffish. When it comes to business relationships, as long as they aren't causing conflict, they see it as them actively preserving the relationship. In friendship, for example, they might be the sorts of people who could go a long time without talking to someone, but nothing is lost in the meantime. You pick up where you left off. They care about acquiring facts and information. More data is always better. Their negotiation mindset is that time equals preparation, and silence equals time to think. They are methodical and diligent, often hating surprises. Their self-image is tied to minimizing mistakes. They prefer to work on their own and are reserved problem solvers. They are natural skeptics and information aggregators. They may appear to agree when they're simply agreeing to think about it. Apologies have very little value for them. On reciprocity, they only give up things that they've already thought long and hard about. On receiving, they are skeptical. When they receive first, they think it must be a trap. If the negotiation has gone wrong, show them you're ready to get something done, accomplished, or narrow down on answers. Assertives. They see themselves as direct, logical, and honest. They may be seen by others as emotional, aggressive, and harsh. Their view of business relationships is a need for mutual respect, nothing more or less. They care about being heard. Their negotiation mindset is the time equals money, and silence an opportunity to speak more. To them, perfecting the solution is less important than getting it done. They love winning above all else. They view negotiations as intellectual sparring. However, their emotions can cloud decision-making. On reciprocity, give them an inch and they'll take a mile. If they give something up, they are counting the seconds until they get something of equal or more value. If the negotiation has gone wrong, then getting them back is easy. Simply invite them to re-engage. They will relish a round two. ESTPs. Assertive. ESTPs have duality in negotiation. They aren't there to mess around, yet, are playful, and see it as a game. They have one foot in the ruthless business mindset, and the other in a desire for healthy competition. Despite their unerringly clear-headed nature, they have an emotional streak too, especially if the fire is ignited in them. They can be prone to one-upmanship and wanting to win, even at the expense of getting a good deal. ENFJ, Accommodator. ENFJs tend to have an innate optimism, a belief in people that powers through, even despite the disappointments people throw their way. This makes them givers without the expectation of getting back. The goodwill they're capable of showing is endearing, and, after an injection of cajoling and charming, they often bend people to their preferred outcome in negotiation. INTP, Analyst. INTPs are the quintessential information aggregators. They are slow to decide, needing much preparation and solitude to calculate through their moves. But when they do decide, it's a choice underpinned by unshakable reason. They are among the most natural skeptics, and others might see them as lacking warmth when across the negotiating table from them. ESFJs, Accommodator. ESFJs prize relationships. Even in negotiation, they put the relationship first, which can be both a risk and a strength. Perhaps no other type is capable of coaxing people out of their shells like they do, and they put this skill to good use. To them, if they can't get a win-win, it feels like a loss. Again, a double-edged trait, but one that's conducive to getting the best deals too. ISTP, Analyst. As a well-known ISTP once said, I don't do diplomacy. They bring a similar mindset to negotiation. To them, it's about accuracy. Reason alone should be the judge. If someone goes against that, no deal. If someone challenges their reason with superior reason, they'll change their view. Pragmatic realism is the name of their negotiation game. INFJ, Accommodator. Maneuvering people, including groups of people, to a desirable outcome is a forte of the INFJ. 
This makes them deeply skilled at certain types of negotiation. If they can piece together the puzzle of the other people involved, they can guide events in a shrewd and canny way. If the people around the negotiating table are hostile, aggressive, and competitive, that's more of a challenge for them. ENTP. Assertive. ENTPs, like always, are fluid in terms of where they could be placed, but I think assertive fits them best. They love the game of negotiation. It is an intellectual contest, a battle of wit and guile. ENTPs are cunning in this realm. They care about being heard, and often don't stop talking. Quite a deadly combination. They weaponize the power of words, and often get the outcome they want. ISFJ. Accommodator. Accommodating is a great byword for ISFJs to begin with. Relationship maintenance is something they're great at, assuming they actually value the relationship. They are introverts too, after all. They naturally occupy the role of supporter, which, counterintuitively, gives them immense power. In negotiation, this can be a deceptively clever strategy. Giving a lot, but getting back too, sometimes in ways the other side doesn't realize. ENTJ. Assertive. ENTJs are people on a mission. They need that, and nail it when on one. In negotiation, they know exactly what they want the moment they walk in the room, and tend to get it. When you're across the table from them, you need nerves of steel. They might be so hell-bent on achieving their outcome that they overlook other possibilities for collaboration. INTJ. Analyst. INTJs are percolating plotters who scheme in solitude and reveal or unleash those plans upon people who are often unsuspecting. Niceties, performative gestures, or socially schmoozy moves will be met with disdain. Accuracy and minimizing mistakes is something they pride themselves on. They negotiate with the aim of achieving something, never for emotional reasons. ESFP. Assertive. ESFPs are honest, direct, and in their practical mindset, also often quite logical in their outlook. They see negotiation as a battle of posturing, deftly navigating the push and pull of interpersonal dynamics, knowing precisely when to exert force on their counterpart. Others might feel bowled over by their natural intensity and emotional impact. ICJ. Analyst. ISTJs are data collectors, sifting through to find the most clear-cut, verifiable, and striking gems among the noise. They are, like the analyst archetype, methodical, diligent, and tend to hate surprises. Uncompromising realism defines them. Anyone promising a great deal for all parties, or over-the-top win-wins, will be cut down with coruscating, cutting questions. ESTJ. Assertive. ESTJs are one of the best types in terms of balancing being obsessively detail-focused with also getting things done. If it comes down to it, they'll prioritize the latter. Their directness can be seen as aggression, and sometimes, well, it is. They need to be able to say their piece and be heard. If you give them that and act respectfully, in good faith towards them, you will do well. ISFP. Assertive. This was a tricky one, but I think on balance, ISFPs are assertive in negotiations. The main reason I say this is because they wouldn't even be in a negotiation if they didn't very much care about what they were trying to get, and if attached to it in that way, they'll fight for a tooth and nail. ENFPs. Accommodator. ENFPs often use their maverick thinking to generate solutions reactively in negotiation. Rather than being the driving force, they will shapeshift their ideas to fit the requirements of the situation. In that sense, they're accommodating, because they have the versatility to be that way. INFPs. Accommodator. Although INTPs do have that same ferocity when defending what they believe in or want, they don't have that same natural forcefulness of their ISFP cousins. So their approach is more subtle, gentle, but when done well, equally as effective in getting them what they want. They have a deep understanding of human psychology and put that to great use. Okay, let's negotiate. If you subscribe, then come find me on the Love Who Discord server, then I will be nice to you. Maybe.